Hey, fixed signs. Okay, this is your Mercury retrograde energy reading. Let's see what's going on there. Um, and I'll be getting up, you know, the, the regular readings as well. But considering I didn't mention it, I went straight to August. I was like, that was dumb. Granted, it does take place in August, but still. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with your energy. Mercury retrograde for the fixed signs. Okay. Mm, clarify. I'll be honest with you guys. Okay. Try not to, guys. Try not to be spending where you don't need to be. Okay. Try not to be like, um, I can, ne I never can remember what it's called when you spend money when you're down and, and therapy, sh therapy shopping. I don't know why I can never remember that. Um, there, that reminds me of something I actually have to tell Odin. I have not been able to remember this name of this singer. Um, he's really into my kind of music. And I, I was laying awake like night after night trying to think of this man's name. And I had to text it to him at like 2 o'clock in the morning. But um, just, yeah, aside from me never remembering anything, guys, just try not to overspend. Try not to do the therapy shopping thing. Try not to, um, I don't know. I don't know. Some there is somebody toxic here as well, so I don't know if this person's like sort of going. It's fine. You know, what's 20 bucks? What's 200 bucks? You know, something like that. They might be kind of a bad influence on you. Some of you have to make a decision to cut somebody toxic or a toxic behavior out of your life as well. That might take some time, guys. I don't believe it's going to happen like instantly here with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Fixed signs, Mercury retrograde. Why is the Ten of Coins here? Ooh, okay. So for those of you that have been trying to help somebody out, like most likely it's going to be a family member, whether it's that they've been sick or, you know, you really wanted to do something wonderful for them because, you know, you value them, something like that. You will be able to do that. For those of you that have been looking for work, um, I do feel like something will transpire, but my advice is because it's Mercury Retrograde, I wouldn't really sign anything until after it's over. Somebody may be expecting a child as well. I'm going to tell you it looks like, yeah, we're in Leo season, so. Why is the Eight of Wands in the reverse? Okay, you might be dealing with a stubborn person during this time as well. Heavy on the fire sign, it doesn't have to be, guys, okay? Could be work-related. Could be, you know, you asking for a raise and this person doesn't really want to give it to you. It could be, um, geez, it look, it's going to look different for, I'm seeing Leos everywhere, guys. I'm seeing Leo. Leo, I feel like this is going to have a big effect on you, <laughs> um, especially Leos looking for work or trying to make more money. Anyway, going back to what I said, I think that there's some sort of imbalance here with somebody at work. I don't like it. If you are trying to get to another position, um, whether this is, mm, I'm going to say work related, you probably will, you will get that position in time, but you're going through somebody who's very stubborn. You're going through somebody who doesn't really want to see your success. Okay. Now, if this is a relationship with somebody, um, I think it's going to take some time, like a lot of time before there's going to be forgive forgiveness. I'm getting water and fire as of now, okay? Why is the two of cups here for the fixed signs? Dang, Leo, this is a lot about you. Guys, take it as it resonates. You might have Leo in your chart or it's just pulling this way, okay? Um, for those of you that are involved with the situation, I don't really see it like... 
I don't see it like really taking off to be honest with you. Um, for those of you that are looking to meet somebody, could be an Aquarius. If it's not an Aquarius, it could be somebody, well, I'm seeing a hippie for first off, somebody like, you know, so, somebody who's like wearing Birkenstock and they don't brush their hair often, but um, could have a pet. Um, but for those of you that it's not an Aquarius, let's take a look at that. could be water sign as well Scorpio Aquarius I don't know if you guys are looking to meet somebody but if so it's probably a fire sign um, this is a very giving person guys they do a lot for other people without like expecting much I will just warn you if you, if this doesn't sound familiar and you're like oh okay I'm like single as hell and like you will be meeting somebody now it's up to you whether or not you want to do something about that right but I would not personally get involved re-involved anything during mercury retrograde it usually is like set up for disaster at the end okay do what you will with that information <laughs> I know nobody's gonna listen to me I don't even listen to me okay why is the hermit here for the fixed signs spending some time alone something you don't see coming yeah okay you may be attracting a lot of people at this time guys but they're not going to be the kind of people that want um, what you're used to I guess okay very different energy now this doesn't have to be romantic this could be new friends this could be um, you know new clients, whatever. Fixed signs. Mercury retrograde. Growth and prosperity. Why do I think somebody's having relations? Yeah. Some of you will definitely be having some sort of intimacy with somebody. Um, they could have children. I like their energy, to be honest with you, but I don't believe that it is a long-term situation. If this is somebody you're already involved with, guys, I just don't see it lasting. This feels more like a fling, but it's fine. <clears throat> Continue. Healing from some sort of heartbreak. For those of you that else have been bedridden with some sort of Ill, illness or just some sort of sadness, I see you getting back out there. Um, taking it slow, but but again, the number four is going to be relevant to this. Um, oh, okay, hold on. Taking it slow, but there's a reason. We have the seven of swords. You know I don't like that. I do not like that card at all. Okay, I'm not judging anyone here, so just keep this in mind. And again, again, this is not necessarily you, but it's coming out as you. It's almost like, you know, hurt people hurt people. So just be mindful of that, you know, like. Um, there's a very one-sided situation here. And I do feel like you're going to be like sort of invited out or um, somebody's going to make some sort of proposal to you and else you or they are just really up to no good. I mean, let me see who this person is. Looks like it's a work situation once again all right guys you guys definitely have somebody at work i don't like we get a lot of toxicity here they they could be stealing ideas they could be taking credit um they could be yeah inviting you out to get more information i don't like them i don't like them okay if this is not work related this could be a family member um friend 
it's not coming out as a lover. Fix signs. Could be going overthinking at this time as well. For some of you, you're overthinking whether or not you should move. Yeah. You may have been judged harshly, harshly recently as well. Uh, maybe with this full moon and that's going to kind of like come back up, I guess, you know, during retrograde. It's funny, it's one of those situations, fixed signs too, where you're kind of laying around going, I wish I'd said this, I wish I had done this, you know, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> I've done that. Uh, I don't see you getting back into this, like, verbally with anybody. I think it's just something that's ha happening in your mind. For the fixed signs, Mercury retrograde. options popping up for you what are these options be careful of car accidents during this time as well i see somebody having like um one of those neck braces on so what are these options weird you're in denial of your options for some reason, especially, especially Taurus. It's almost like there's a stubbornness that won't like move on from some sort of situation here. It looks financial, doesn't have to be. Um, could op absolutely be, you know, um, meeting people, but I do see most of you being single during this time. If you are not single, you are definitely debating it. And like I said, I see people coming in and I really don't know that you're going to give the energy to it, even if it is a good situation for you. For those of you that are looking to like start something new, refresh a situation, I don't think this is the time it'll happen. Yeah, I see people walking away from each other. There's probably going to be quite a few breakups during this period of time. Well, it doesn't have to be, once again, I, I'm going to make this t-shirt. It doesn't have to be romantic. I swear to you, I say this like constantly, but it's just because, you know, I don't want people assuming this doesn't resonate just because you have no feelings for anybody. Like, you know, we have feelings every day for somebody, whether it's your child or your friend or, you know, um, somebody you have to work with. Continue. Heavy emotions going on here. Again, it's work-related. Some of you are contemplating moving, um, not just physically moving, but moving on from a job, I think, as well, for those of you that, like, work for a company, because you're just wondering if, like, the money would be better elsewhere, if the drama would be better. And the cards are saying you need to, um, you need to really think about that. You need to really look at all sides of this before you make that decision. If you take a job during this, although it might be less stress for you, the money probably wishy-washy there. Continue. I don't know who this is. There's a younger person in your energy. They're just sort of like there. I don't know why that would be. They're still staring at you. You're walking away, but I don't think you know they're still there. If it's not a younger person, it's, um, I guess they'd be more immature or something like that. Could be an ex-lover. Somebody that you were passionate about at some point. Probably were intimate with. If not, guys, if not, this person may have, like, some sort of secret crush on you that you're not aware of, okay? If you're, like, I don't know anybody, if that doesn't resonate, it could be somebody, like, you know, in the workplace, a friend, a family member, well, 
God, I hope it's not a family member, but you know, somebody who's been like really eyeing you for a while. You don't know it. They're having daydreams about you. I see some sort of karmic justice working out as well in your favor. Who's this Queen of Swords? We do have the King and the Queen, guys, but they're in... They're in uh, somebody's being emotionally distant, distant in general, could live at a distance and you may not be hearing from them. You might be reaching out and they're not reaching out back, okay? I'm not going to say it. I'm going to hold back saying it doesn't have to be romantic. <laughs> Maybe I just put that across the screen from now on. This might this might cause you some sort of grief, okay? Why is the Four of Wands here? I see a petty disagreement with somebody. This it really feels like a family member, but take it as it resonates. This person was your Ten of Cups. Um, your four of wands. Maybe you guys live together. Maybe you guys had family together at some point, or maybe this is just a family member. Okay. But I do see some sort of very petty. You're both coming at each other as pages, very childish, um, uh, you know, behavior where yes, it probably could have been healed. I see blocking taking place as well. Yes, it probably could have been healed, but um, nobody was willing to like ad admit their wrongdoing or, you know, they just, I don't know, guys, just a mess. Just a mess. I still see you guys helping somebody out financially or otherwise, okay? Helping them drop a heavy burden. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anything else the fixed signs need to know before I end it here? Not allowing something to happen. Okay, guys. It looks like a reconciliation. Scorpio, Taurus, heavy, heavy, heavy for you guys here. There was some sort of imbalance. Um, and it looks like the Three of Cups in the reverse. I don't think the reconciliation would work out, okay? Just an FYI. It looks like this person's just not not um, being agreeable or, or wanting to fix it. Maybe this is you. Could go either way. All right, guys. Anyway, I hope this helps.